Welcome to Building Pine Car Racers. Pine Car Racing is one of the largest and most popular adult and child projects ever. The excitement begins when you build a pine car racer. Millions of Cub Scouts throughout the country and countless church, camp, and YMCA groups have participated in local races. Some go on to national racing events. Pine Car is a company that makes all of the car kits, tools, track, and accessories needed to hold a pine car race. We understand how important the race is to youngsters and their parents. Pine Car is the leader in the pine car racing industry. <laughs> pine Car Racers are built to specific dimensions. Cars are raced by gravity down an inclined racetrack. The races are held as a way to bring families together. They are built by youngsters with parents or other adults there to advise them on the construction. Before you begin your project, view the entire video. Additional tips and techniques are also found in the Pine Car How-To Book. Before you start building, there are a few things you need to know about your car. Most Pine Car racers follow these guidelines. Maximum car size, including wheels, is 7 inches long and 2 and 3 fourths inches wide. Minimum width between the wheels is 1 and 3 fourths inches. Minimum ground clearance between the car and the track is 3 eighths of an inch. Maximum car weight is 5 ounces or 142 grams. Additional accessories may be added as long as the total weight doesn't go over specifications. No wheel bearings, bushings, springs, starting devices, or loose parts are allowed. Make sure before race day that you can meet racing guidelines. Wheels and axles should be the same on all cars in a race. Check with local racing sponsors for their rules. You don't want to be disqualified after all of your hard work. You can use racing books and magazines for inspiration or create your own car design. Real race cars are designed aerodynamically to break through the wind. Pine Car offers many innovative accessories to enhance your racer's looks and speed. Also, remember that most race officials will hand out craftsmanship awards for the best looking cars in the race, so make yours as original and attractive as you can. Pine Car offers a basic block. It is made from soft wood which can easily be shaped and sanded. Some kits come with nail type axles, which we will cover later in the video. For our demonstration, we will be using the basic car kit, which includes wheels, hubcaps, axles, and the basic block for making the car. This demonstration will give modelers at all levels a chance to see the construction of a pine car from the block stage to a finished racer. Later we will show you pine car kits that require no skills or tools. Gather all of the things you need before getting started on your project. We will use these pine car products. Racer shaping tools consist of a rasp and a saw with five blades. The complete paint system includes fine, medium, and coarse sandpaper, sealer paint, water-based gloss finish, two accent paints, a foam paintbrush, and an accent paintbrush. The speed kit includes a wheel turning mandrel, hobby lube dry graphite, a bar weight and axles and polishing kit. Items may be purchased separately, but the best value is in the kit. A few more pine car products we will use are sanding pads, body putty, pine car formula glue and super glue, custom parts, and decals, and a wheel alignment tool. We will also be using tracing paper and pencils, a straight edge, scissors, a hobby knife, safety glasses, two small blocks of wood, a small flathead screwdriver, chisel, hammer, vise, a drill and bits, a file, cloth, a magnifying glass, three long nails, a scrap block of wood, and a small scale. With all your tools ready and materials by your side, it is time to build your pine car. 
Design your car first by making a pattern. On a plain piece of paper, trace around the bottom, sides, and end of your block. Using a dotted line, mark the maximum width and length that your car can be. Make sure you do not exceed the guideline measurements. On the bottom and side tracings of the pattern, center your wheels over the axle notches and trace around the wheels. Now you can draw your car's design onto this pattern. It will be easiest to draw the side profile first, then the top view, and finally the end views. Plan now for roll bars, engines, decals, canopies, and other accessories. You can add fenders, spoilers, and pipes as long as they don't exceed 7 inches in length and 2 and 3 quarters inches in width. After you have finished, cut out each drawing of your car design. This becomes your template. Take the template and place it on the side of the block, lining up the axle slots. Trace the car template on the block. If you're using the racer shaping tools or carpenter's handsaw, you will have to trace on both sides of the block for an even cut. A bandsaw works great if you have one available, but should only be used with adequate training. The racer shaping tools can accomplish the same results. Be sure to use a sharp blade when cutting your design. Be sure to always wear eye protection when working with tools. Remember, safety comes first. Beginning with the top, make your cuts and move on to the end cuts. Use the rasp to shape the ends. Pine Car also offers template designs, which come with full body stick on decals. Premium Pine Car Racer kits, pre cut designs, and the basic wedge are available for modelers who don't have the skill or tools needed to cut out a car design. For precision, measure your car's dimensions with the wheel alignment tool. It has seven different functions for ensuring your car meets specific guidelines. The tool measures the length of the car, the width of the car, clearance under the car, checks axle slots for alignment, checks clearance between wheel and car body, prevents camber, camber means the axles aren't parallel to the track and the wheels are not 90 degrees to the ground, and checks for tow end. Start shaping with the rasp using the coarse teeth first, then the fine teeth. Shape against the grain. Don't press too hard because you can dent the wood. For tight spots, use the fine edge of the rasp. After the shaping is done, sand in the direction of the grain with the medium pine car sanding pad to remove the rasp marks. Then use the fine sanding pad until completely smooth. Pits, dents, or scratches on your car can be repaired by applying pine car body putty. Letting it dry and re-sanding with the fine sanding pad. For an all-over smoothing compound, spread body putty on the entire car. Wet fingers with water and smooth the putty onto the car. Allow putty to dry thoroughly and sand with the fine sanding pad. Feel the smooth finish. Now test fit the wheels and axles on your car. We are using one-piece axles for our demonstration. You can also use nail-type axles, which we will explain later in the video. Nail type axles also fit all of our blocks and car kits. Remember to allow space for extra coats of paint. If you don't, the wheels may not spin freely and you may have to sand over your final coat. Slide the wheels on both axles, making sure that they face the correct direction. Snap the hubcaps onto the axle. Then center the axle assemblies over the axle slots on the bottom of your car. 
Gently tap axles into axle slots with a hammer to ensure slots are the right size. You will need to check for clearance between the wheels and the car's body using the wheel alignment tool. The wheels should fit tightly against the tool. The wheels should spin freely. If they do not, sand the sides of your car. Remove the wheel assembly and set it aside. Pine Car has a selection of incremental weights such as chassis weights, tapered, bar and strip weights, adjustable and designer stick-on weights, and round and combo weights. The heavier your racer is, the faster it will go. It is best to make your car overweight instead of too light. You can remove weights but cannot add them at most races. Pine Car weights allow you to adjust your car's weight even on race day. Weigh all of your racer parts before assembly. If you don't have a small scale at home, go to your local hobby shop or post office and weigh your car. Don't forget your wheels and axles. We will show you how to attach a chassis weight and bar weight to the car we are building. These weights are designed to be surface mounted with a 3 8 inch clearance. Chassis weights give your car a realistic look. They are attached with two screws. We will not attach the weights now, but we need to drill pilot holes for the screws. Mark where you want to drill and use a 1 16th inch drill bit to create the two pilot holes. Bar weights are also attached with screws. Some people prefer to countersink the bar weight into the bottom of the car. To do that, turn the car on its top. Trace around the weight. Use a straight edge to make lines 1 4th inch apart within the area. Drill holes along those lines at 1 4th inch intervals. It is a good idea to place masking tape on your drill bit. It gives you a stopping mark so that you don't drill too deep. Chisel out the drilled area until there's enough room for the weight to fit. At this point, test fit the weight and set it aside. You should polish both types of axles before final assembly. Remember, less friction means a faster car. We will be using wet or dry sandpaper and pumice powder from the axles and polishing kit or speed kit. This works for both one-piece and nail type axles. Remove the wheels from the axles. To polish the axles, mount an electric drill on the padded jaws of a vise. Insert the axle into the drill. Tighten the chuck. Cut the sandpaper into 1 4 inch strips. Dip the strips in a cup of water for a few seconds and remove. Dry your hands and turn on the drill. Pass the strip back and forth under the axle for 10 to 15 seconds. Stop the drill and wipe the dust away. Check the axle for imperfections with a magnifying glass. Repeat the polishing procedure until it is smooth. To smooth out fine scratches, mix a small amount of pumice with water until it is thick as oatmeal. Put a dab of the mixture on a cloth strip, polishing using the same method as the sandpaper. Repeat this process until the axle is smooth. up the wheels and remove any imperfections, use the Pine Car Wheel Turning Mandrel. It 
is the perfect tool to use for this job. Seat the mandrel into the drill chuck and tighten. Place the wheel on the mandrel and tighten the screw. Turn on the drill and hold the coarse sandpaper against the wheel for a few seconds. Repeat if needed until the surface is smooth. Assemble the wheels onto the axles and push on the hubcaps. Set the wheel assembly aside. For this demonstration, we will be using the Pine Car Complete Paint System. This kit includes black and silver accent paint colors. Pine Car Paint Kits contain a combination wood sealer and paint. Cover your work surface with newspaper. Before proceeding, build a paint stand by driving three long nails into a scrap block of wood. Apply several coats of paint. Allow each coat to dry thoroughly. Sand lightly between coats with fine sandpaper. Before the final coat, clean the axle slots with a hobby knife. Test fit the wheel assembly. Take the wheel assembly off and paint on a final coat. Let the paint dry thoroughly. Do not sand over the final coat. For our example, we will apply decals first. You may wish to apply them after your custom parts. Pine Car offers two types of decals, stick-on and dry transfer, available in a variety of sizes and designs. Stick-on decals are economically priced and are very easy to apply. Dry transfer decals leave no lines or clear film and provide a clean, customized detail look. They are also easy to apply. Decide where you want to place decals on your pine car. Apply them to only clean, dry, dust-free surfaces. Position dry transfer decals on the car and hold them firmly so the sheet cannot move. Transfer the decal onto the car by rubbing over the image with a burnisher or soft, dull pencil. Don't rub too hard as you can damage the wood. When you are done, place the backing sheet over the decal and burnish to set in place. For stick-on decals, peel off the backing sheet and stick them to the car. Except for the weight, all accessories can now be mounted on the car. These accessories transform your car from plain looking to spectacular. Pine Car offers a variety of custom parts. File or sand excess flashing from custom parts. Test fit the parts on the car. When you are satisfied with the fit, wash the parts in soapy water, rinse and dry. If you wish to paint your custom parts, do it now and allow them to dry. When gluing these parts onto the car, scrape paint from each of the glue points so that it bonds well. Pine Car has two types of glue to assemble your racer. They can be used with paint, wood, metal, and plastic. Formula glue is high-tack hobby glue, great for filling gaps. Super glue bonds on contact. It is used for gluing the axles to the car and for attaching body details. Attach custom parts with Pine Car Formula Glue. To protect your car, brush on several coats of gloss finish from the complete paint system, drying between each coat. Now you can turn the car over and set the bar weight in place. Use the small screws to attach the weight to the bottom of the car. Do not attach chassis weights at this time.
Lubricate your racer with either Hobby Lube Dry Graphite or Dry White Teflon with Cling. Dry Graphite is a fine, specially ground lubricant. It contains molybdenum, which makes it the fastest lubricant because it works between the axle and hub like millions of microscopic ball bearings. Dry White Teflon with Cling has a special additive that clings to smooth surfaces for improved lubrication. Some race rules allow only dry white to be used by the participants because of the mess caused by some lubricants. For our demonstration, we will use dry graphite. Apply dry graphite between the wheel and the hubcap. Repeat this procedure until the wheels spin on the axles for several seconds. Do not use oily lubricants as they can damage wheels. Lay the car on a clean cloth. Push the wheel assembly onto the car. Now that your car is assembled, you will need to test the car. Push your car on a flat surface for 10 feet. The car should run straight. If your car pulls left, bend the left axle up and the right one down. If your car pulls to the right, bend the right axle up and the left axle down. Keep adjusting the car until it runs straight. Now you can glue the axles to your car. Use two or three drops of Pine Car Super Glue on the axles. Keep the glue away from the wheels. Let the glue dry thoroughly before handling the car again. If you are using the chassis weight, you can now attach it to the car with the small screws. Break off increments of weight as needed before installing them on your car. Try building two racers and test race them for practice. Try improving the slower car to see if you can make it the faster of the two cars. On race day, use the best car. Race day has finally arrived. It is a good idea to put your car in a shoe box with packing material around it for transporting it to the race. Your race will most likely be a double elimination event. Because of this, you should have tools to make repairs. Take along a lubricant, pine car super glue and formula glue, extra wheels and axles, weights, an alignment tool, pliers, a screwdriver, and a hammer. Remember to apply lubrication at the latest time allowed. If you can use it at the race, apply it just before the first race and between races. If lubricants are not allowed in the building, apply them just before entering the building. If you are allowed to place your own car on the track, center it over the lane guide as straight as possible. Do not allow your wheels to touch lane guides. They will cause friction and slow your car down. After the race is over and you are back at home, you will want to display your Pine Car for years to come. Pine Car can help you preserve the memory of the day with the Pine Car display stand at Show Wheels. Show Wheels cannot be used for racing but look great on your car when you display it. Now that we have shown you how to build a basic racer, we will give you some ideas to simplify the process and make your car run faster and look better. If your race specifications say to use nail type axles, burrs will need to be removed from under the nail head. Pine Car recommends using the axles and polishing kit. Place the pointed end of an axle in the drill chuck. Leave about 5 eighths of an inch out and tighten the chuck. Hold a file against the underside of the nail head and run the drill for a few seconds. With the drill still in the vise, polish the nail axles the same way as the one-piece axles. Place two small blocks of wood on your work area to hold the wheels off the work surface. 
To install nail type axles, drive a nail into each end of the axle slots. This will open up the slot for the axles. To make your wheels straight on your car, use the wheel alignment tool. Insert it onto the axle while you are attaching each wheel to the car. Attach two wheels to one side of the car. Attach the last two wheels to the car. To turn a basic car kit into an exceptional racer, use designer kits. These kits include designer body details, dry transfer decals, black accent material, incremental weights, and a template. The designer body details are molded white plastic parts which give your car cool racing contours such as vendors. Stick-on details are adhesive backed holographics that you can design to customize your car. Make headlights, body contours, numbers, letters, pinstripes, and more. Draw your design on a plain piece of paper. Write the word face on it and cut out the design. Lay your stick-on detail sheet face down on your work surface. Lay your cutout on top and trace. Cut out your design and test fit where you will place it. When you are satisfied, peel off the backing and stick it on the car. Rub well to adhere. To make the exact design for the other side of your car, lay the face of your cutout up and trace. Test fit the design, peel off the backing and stick on the car. To make numbers and letters, draw them on plain paper. Cut them out and lay them face down over the stick-on detail sheet. Trace around the template and cut the number or letter out. These work for both sides of your car. Custom body skins turn a plain racer into an awesome racing machine with no paint, little time, and no artistic talent. Body skins are created so that the colors and designs can be overlapped. Always apply these skins to a smooth, finished car body. As an option, you can use body putty as a smoothing compound on your car before applying the body skins. If you are applying this to a simple design, peel off the backing paper and center the design sticky side down over your car. Use a very wet sponge to transfer the design onto the car. Smooth the wrinkles out as much as possible. The carrier sheet will release from the design. If you are applying the body skins to a complex design, it is best to apply it in steps. Lay the design face down on a table. Trace each side of the car onto the design, leaving 1 8 inch seam allowance. Top of the car, use the full length of the sheet.
Cut out the patterns and put the first side on the car. Then follow with the other side and top, folding the design under the car. You may need to patch small, uneven contours such as fenders or custom body parts. Use the black skin for windshields and windows. Cut out and apply with a wet sponge over the top of your design. Dry your design thoroughly and seal with our water-based gloss finish for the complete paint system. You can also use body skins for custom accents and details on your car. Cut out your own design and apply to the car. If using two colors of paint on the car, it is best to mask off one section of the car. Use masking tape to separate colors or make fine lines on your car. Draw your design and put masking tape on the outside of the lines where you will be painting. Paint the section and allow it to dry. Lift each piece of tape carefully. You will have achieved a professional, customized paint job for your car. Pine Car has a windshield kit that can create a different windshield design. The kit includes a driver, roll bar, seat back, and a sheet of black vinyl. When using round or combo weights, you may want to hide the weights inside the car. If so, drill 3 8 inch holes into the car body. One hole should be in front of the rear axle and one behind. Push the weights into the drilled holes. If they are too long, take the weights out and use the metal cutting blade in your saw to trim them. To install the metal cutting blade, screw the handle of the saw counterclockwise. The blade will fall loose. Place the pins on the end of the new blade into the holder grooves at each end of the saw. Hold the blade in place and screw the handle clockwise until tight. Push the weights back in and fill the holes with body putty. Dry and sand smooth with sanding pads. Combo and designer stick-on weights can be attached to the side of the car. When using adjustable stick-on weights, cut off the amount needed. Peel off the backing and stick them on the bottom of the car. These weights are the easiest to apply. For more speed and racing tips, see the how-to book. The following products are also available to assist you in building a Pine Car Racer.
Premium Pine Car Racer Kits are the most complete car kits for race participants with no woodworking skills and few tools. The kits contain a pre-cut car body, paints, and everything else needed to build and accessorize a winning racer. Besides the basic car kit, we also have a wedge kit, which includes wheels, axles, and a wooden wedge. The designer kits with wedge include all of the components of the designer kit mentioned earlier, plus a pre-cut aerodynamic wedge, racing wheels, hubs, and axles. Pre-cut designs are available for those who want to create their own unique car from the wheels up. These designs save time and help those without tools to achieve great racing contours. For optimum racing capabilities, get the Speed Racer Kit. Its complex design is created with consideration for racing properties such as aerodynamics, airflow factors, and weight distribution. This super cool racer is based on principles of physics. The proper placement of the weights enables you to fine tune your racer for winning results. The aerodynamic weight can be painted to match your car. Easy complete instructions are included in the kit. Pine Car has a wide selection of custom parts, some with dry transfer decals. The canopy and cockpit sets are a great way to accessorize your racer. There are three different designs in this package. Cockpits and drivers add humor and realism to your racer. They are Baron Von Gofast and Mad Racer. Just add them to a finished car body. Baron Von Gofast is already assembled. Prime and paint the assembly. Sand the glue points on the finished racer and on the cockpit assembly. Attach with Pine Car Formula Glue. Then glue the canopy over the top with Pine Car Super Glue. Prime, paint, and assemble Mad Racer and cockpit before attaching. You can also attach this driver without the cockpit to any finished car, but you must sand the glue points on the finished racer and on the cockpit. Five axles is a package of five nail type axles to replace lost or damaged axles. The Pine Car catalog shows the complete Pine Car product line. Try browsing our website at www.pinecar.com or visit your favorite hobby shop and look for the Pine Car Center. If you are interested in holding a race or know someone who is, Pine Car offers a complete racing package. The convenient Pine Car Race Package includes a Pine Car Speedway, which is a 32-foot, four-lane, sturdy cardboard track with a starting gate and bumper stop. The Pine Car Speedway is easy to assemble and disassemble, has its own storage box, and can be used again and again. The weigh-in scale is a counterbalance scale, which will measure your racer's weight with accuracy. Recommended car weight is five ounces. The conformity gauge is packaged with the weigh-in scale. It quickly and accurately measures the width and length of race cars, the width between wheels, and the minimum clearance between the car and track. Also included are registration forms for checking in all cars and participants. Each car is given a number, which is written on the pressure-sensitive label hidden discreetly under the car. The double elimination chart keeps track of your racing results. Winner and craftsmanship ribbons in blue, red, and white are for first, second, and third place winners. Participant certificates are included so everyone receives something. The program guide helps with all pre-planning and race day procedures and rules. It provides the vital information you need for promoting a race. Our decorative racing pennant is a 10-foot string of checkered flag pennants. The pennant can also be purchased separately as a 25-foot string. Order your Pine Car Race Package at a net price.
by visiting us at www.pinecar.com. Another great project is sailboat racing. Prizes are given for the race winners as well as for craftsmanship. The Rain Gutter Regatta is a popular group event. The Rain Gutter course consists of two 10-foot rain gutters. They are placed side by side on two sawhorses and filled with water. Participants walk beside the course and blow into their sails. This propels their sailboat racer to the finish line. After the starting signal, racers cannot touch the boats. The sailboat racer kit is easily assembled and finished with little or no adult assistance. This kit includes a pre-cut wooden hull, a mast, sail, rudder, metal keel, and complete instructions. Sailboat racers have certain racing guidelines. These guidelines are, the hull may not be longer than seven inches or shorter than six and a half inches. The mast must be six and a half inches from top to deck. The keel and rudder supplied in the kit should not be altered. The sail cannot be larger than the material supplied in the kit. Boats that do not meet guidelines will be disqualified. Sand the hull into the desired shape with medium sandpaper. To obtain the smoothest finish, use fine sandpaper. Use the combination sealer paint from the Pine Car Complete Paint System. Apply several coats of paint, sanding lightly with fine sandpaper between each coat. Paint a final coat and dry thoroughly. Do not sand after the final coat of paint. Now you can add decals to the hull, mast, and sail if desired. Pine Car offers waterproof sailboat racer decals. They come in bright nautical colors and designs. After the decals have been applied, brush on a gloss finish to protect the hull and mast. Tap the keel onto the bottom of the hull with the point toward the front of the boat. Place the rudder on the bottom of the hull. The rudder extends beyond the back of the boat. Insert the mast into the hole on the deck. Secure the mast with a drop of pine car super glue. After the glue is dried, place the sail on the mast. Secure it temporarily with tape. Adjust the sail and rudder as needed. Apply a small amount of pine car super glue to attach the sail permanently. Then remove the tape. Your sailboat racer is now ready to sail. Instead of painting, you could use custom body skins to cover your hull and sail. Go to your favorite hobby shop or visit our webpage to see the entire Sailboat Racer line. To obtain more information about products or techniques which you have seen on this video, visit our website at www.pinecar.com.